All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to teach you guys how to get started with Shopify's hydrogen framework. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have a partners account. So you want to go to partners.shopify.com. And when you come in here, I want you guys to go in and click on join now and basically just register for an account. Okay. After you register for the account, you can come back in, log in. And then from there, choose your account. I have multiple accounts, so that's why it shows up like this. But you guys should be in a page that looks like this. This is like the welcome home page for the partners. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is create a store. Now, Shopify allows you to create unlimited stores uh, for development purposes. So you could come here, click on add store. Okay, click on development store. And I'm going to choose CP hydrogen okay that my shopify.com so this is going to be the url so this is the name and that's the url right there then from here you want to put in a password for your account then you want to put in some information like for the store address now you can put whatever it is that you want it could be a fictitious address but you have to put in the address and then from there you want to go in and basically you could put i'm just playing around build a new store for a client test an app for a theme I will say it's between this two. Those are the options that you should take. And then you want to go in and click on save. All right, let's get started creating the store. I'm going to pause this for a second until everything gets ready. All right. And here we go. We have a Shopify store and it's for development. Now to see the actual store, we could click right here. I'm going to hold control and for windows is control and Mac is for command, but to open up in another tab but here we go okay so this is how the store looks like okay nothing is happening there's no products there's no nothing but to get that started we're gonna go in and basically download an application that's gonna install dummy data for us now yes we can do this with the Shopify CLI but to be honest with you I don't like the products that they have. I don't even like the, the orders that they have on the Shopify CLI. I'd rather go in and download this application, which just makes everything much easier and gives you like some real products that you can look at. So I'm going to come here and basically we're going to go in and say view more apps in the collection. Okay. I'm going to ask me the information. Give this a second. And there we go. Now we're going to come here. And we're going to say dummy data. Okay. And that's going to bring you to this application called simple sample data. Okay. Click add. And yes, it says one time charge of 99 cents. They don't really charge you. Um, it's actually free. But now we end up here and now we have to install the app. So this is just like the Android uh, phones and the iOS phones where they ask you for what type of you know, information you want to give to this application. You see, we're only giving it access to the edit, the products the edit, the orders, edit customers. Okay. And if you want to see what other data is looking for, it's looking for like the locations. Um, that's weird. I don't know why it's asking for location. It shouldn't, but it is what it is. Um, view Shopify account data. And that's fine. Okay. So they just want to get like your email. Uh, but here we go. Click on install. If there's a second, okay, and here we go. Okay, so then from here you have different type of products that you can install. You could have clothes, paintings, toys. So I usually just go for clothes and I click on all. So it's gonna bring in 30 products with multiple variants, right? Different sizes, different colors, and then from there it's gonna bring in uh, smart collections, and from there it's gonna bring in four custom collections, and then from there 10 customers and 20 orders. Okay, so just enough data for you to get up and running with any type of project that you might be tackling. Okay, so click here, generate data, click yes. And yes, it's going to take some time for this thing to actually work. So I'm going to pause this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so while this thing is still running, I mean, it's been about like five minutes. Usually it stops by now. Uh, sometimes I get stuck on something. I don't know what, but <laughs> then it comes back. But to be honest with you, if you check and open up on another tab, you could see that all of your products are already here. Okay. So, um, you're pretty much good to go. That's all you really need for now. Having your products, your orders and things like that. Um, 
so we don't have to wait until this thing decide hey it's done it's complete okay because it could be stuck on something um, but at least we got everything that we needed so then now the next step is we want to go in and basically you get hydrogen up and running okay open up your projects I'm gonna go in go to the location where I usually put all of my projects which is a projects folder and then here I'm gonna say mpx create dash hydrogen dash app then it's gonna ask me for the name of the project and I'm gonna call it hydrogen dash app you could call it whatever you want okay and then now once we do this it basically has everything uh, set up for us so I'm gonna go into that folder CD hydrogen dash app my fault I missed the end so CD hydrogen dash app there we go and then now we're gonna come in and we're gonna run those commands that were there so we're gonna say npm install dash dash legacy peer depths npm run dev click enter and give this some time all right guys so you should be seeing this so now go to localhost 3000 so let's open this up on a new tab and let me see where is it here we go okay I'm gonna say localhost 3000 give this a second and there we go so we have uh, this working for us right now this right here is basically like a starter page for hydrogen it's just like you know some examples that you can do here okay you see the product page you see the collection page you also see the 404 template um, you also see hey connected to storefront snow devil so we got to go in and connect to our own storefront and the way you do this is by going to your store right uh, your development store CP hydrogen or if this was like a real store that you was creating this uh, storefront for it right you will have to go in and click on the apps then from there you click on manage private apps and then from there it says enable private app development and now I'm gonna click right here to all of these click enable private app okay and there we go now let's click right here if there's a second loading up okay so in here I'm gonna create basically I'm gonna say private app name I'm gonna say CP hydrogen okay uh, and here you want to put in emergency email I'm gonna put in my email then from there you want to go in and choose like a webhook API just put in the latest that's fine uh, you want to go in and have the storefront API so click here and then in here you get to decide what exactly is it that you want to do with this so you can say read products read inventory read product and store pickup uh, read customer tags okay reselling plans okay if you might need that right I just click everything just to show it to you guys so click on save create app then now you're gonna end up on this page scroll all the way to the bottom copy this here open up VS code is going to show you all of your files right I want you guys to go all the way to the bottom to shopify.config put in the name of your store right the URL of the store and then from there you're gonna put in the token that you got which is your access token and then from there you're gonna put in GraphQL API version whatever the latest version is for now we're using this one which is a stable version 2021 uh, 10 right so we're gonna save this and then we're gonna do npm run dev give this a second it's gonna load up now one thing that I'm noticing is that we're getting this error of uh, field URL doesn't exist on type image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the one that came with Shopify and basically we're gonna say GraphQL API version unstable 
Okay, save that. And let's see, that should be good. And now if we look over here, we can see that yes, we have our store connected. It says CP hydrogen. Okay. It shows us that we have 30 products, 16 collections. Okay. Uh, we also have one product on the home page. We also have one collection on the home page. You can also go over here, click on different collections that pop up on the top. And this is all coming from our actual store. So if we look over here on the CP hydrogen, click on products and I'll search Adidas. You can see right here, this is the products and you can see inside of our storefront that we also have those products when we click on Adidas. Okay. And that's pretty much it guys. It was that simple. We basically now have a storefront with Shopify's hydrogen. Okay. Welcome to Shopify development guys. If you are a react developer, a front end developer, right? doesn't matter if you are using Next.js or you're using Nux or you're using react or V or whatever you want to be using, right? I think using Shopify and Shopify hydrogen could really help you out in the long term to understand a lot of different concepts and a lot of different things that's happening with web development in general. Okay. So I'm super excited to see you guys in the next video for this course. For those of you guys that don't know right now, we're working on this Shopify hydrogen course on codingphase.com. Definitely come check it out. Okay. You can see right here, we have everything that you need to become a developer right at your fingertips, right? It's right in front of you. All you have to do is come in, come check out the website and literally you could get started with 20 bucks. Okay. We have every single career path that you could really want right now. Content editor, HTML, email developer, general front end developer, back end, full stack, react developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer. And I give you guys like a preview, like this is the Shopify theme developer bundle. Like this is all of the things that comes with it. Okay. And as a diamond member, you get access to all of this exclusive courses that take you beyond just being like a front end developer. Like we go in and specialize on skills that can really help you out as a full time developer that's going to be independent, either working for a company or building your own company, right? Freelancing, you know, gigs or even creating your own themes or even creating your own storefronts, just like this one, the one that we just created right now. And yeah, man, definitely got to check out coding phase, man. All right, guys. So for those of you guys that's taking a course with me, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where we actually going to go in and build this whole storefront from a custom theme. Okay. Can't wait to see you guys there. I'll see you guys later. Bye.